in 1845. With it, Lord Ross was the first to view the spiral nature of the
effort and sit still. One or two seconds, five or ten. I have taken an image of my sons with their pet bunny. We shall find out soon enough. <laughs> Welcome to our home. We receive many guests here. Astronomers, scientists, learned friends, but usually in my new dining room. This is a much quieter place. Countess of Ross. You know my husband, William Parsons, third Earl of Ross. Yes, the man behind the largest telescope in the world. <laughs> well, I suppose some view me as the woman behind the man but not here in Burr. Here, I'm proud to say, a woman's intellectual pursuits are recognized and valued as much as any man's. My cousin Mary Ward can attest to that. I took this portrait of Mary, ever the scientist, posing with her stereoscopic viewer. Oh, my beloved family, forever looking at the stars or down at the earth at the tiniest things. I've always preferred to look at them. Why? I, I could take a photograph of you. But you've hardly dressed for the occasion, have you? No. Perhaps another time. In any case, my interest goes far beyond portraits. I record the castle and gardens, uh, our scientific achievements, and nearby places of interest, Woodstock Gardens, for example, or Huntington Castle. To carry a camera in one's pocket, to take an electronic picture in an instant, my work takes hours and is done with no electricity at all. I favor the wet collodion process. Take a single glass plate, cover it with chemicals, and place in a camera. Then, when your subjects are ready, open the shutter and wait. About 10 seconds usually does it. Then afterwards, apply further chemicals, to develop and fix the image. Which brings us back to our bunny. Let's see how it fared. Ah, the rabbit has stayed still, but Randall, my youngest, has not.